hello guys welcome to bola tech engineering drawing channel in this video we are going to be drawing the orthographic projection project right on the screen so we are going to be drawing from first angle first angle orthographic projection so we have been given the front view to be from this particular point which the arrow is actually facing so the baseline here which is 84 millimeter we are going to pick it right on our on our ruler 84 millimeter i'm going to pick it four millimeter so let's let me take it out that particular place and now we have been given an height of 72 millimeter here so i'm going to pick 72 millimeter right up here then i will take out this particular place also please note why i'm taking out this particular place is so that it will be explanatory for you why i do other works and you wouldn't be confused because there are three lines here so you know the one i'm actually using that's why i'm taking out these two particular places all other lines will be made with thin lines please so now we have been given the a length here of what 28 millimeter right so at this point i'm going to draw a straight line at that point at which 72 millimeter is stopping i'm going to draw a straight line like this make use of thin lines please then i'm going to measure 28 millimeter 28 millimeter like this at this particular point okay so at that point i'm going to draw a vertical line as you can see here so i'm going to draw a straight vertical line downwards from that particular point of 28 millimeter like this please ensure you are making use of thin lines please now we have been given a length of 8 millimeter here if we can see it from this particular point there is a length of 8 millimeter here so i'm going to pick 8 millimeter right on my right on my ruler and draw a straight thin line please at that point also like this okay then we have been given another length here downwards 16 millimeter 16 millimeter so i'm going to pick 16 millimeter from this particular point here on my ruler 16 millimeter then draw a straight line also at this point like this okay so now what we are going to be doing is we have been given a curve here a curve which is actually of radius of 12 millimeter right which is actually a radius of 12 millimeter so i'm going to pick 12 millimeter from this particular edge the curve is actually starting from this edge so i'm going to pick 12 millimeter like this from this point here i'll pick 12 millimeter to this particular place here so at this point where 12 millimeter is actually reaching i'm going to draw a center line because it is actually a circle so i'm going to draw a center line which is what which is thin thin long chain lines so this is how we draw thin long chain lines like this please ensure it is thin long chain lines please so now we are going to pick our ruler and measure 32 millimeter the height as you can see the radius of this particular place is 32 so that is where the center of the circle is 32 millimeter height so i'm going to pick i'm going to pick my set square first and draw a straight vertical line at this particular point like this yeah then measure 32 millimeter please ensure you're using thin lines for all drawings line we are going to taking out the points later please then measure 32 millimeter so on that point of 32 millimeter i'm going to draw a straight line a straight thin line like this in this manner so this point is where the center of our circle of radius of 12 millimeter is going to start from so i'm going to pick my compass measure 12 millimeter right on my compass then place it at that point then place it at this particular point here so it's going to be touching here also then i'm going to draw okay like this so this is the arc we have been given here as shown in this place so i'm going to join this particular place like this first in this manner let me take it out here like this okay so now we have been given another arc here of radius of 32 millimeter right radius of 32 millimeter so the center of this particular radius of 32 millimeter is going to be starting from this place so i'm just going to place my compass at this particular point here i'm going to place my compass at this particular point here then extend my compass to this edge here as you can see then draw my arc like this then draw my arc 
to this particular point let me take in that out okay so this is this is the this is this particular arc here that we can see in this particular place right here okay I actually erased this place a little bit because the thick line we drew here at first was actually SS so now we are going to move straight to this upper part also as we can actually see it from the front view also and we have been given the height of this place to be 32 millimeter so I'm going to pick 32 millimeter right on my ruler like this 32 millimeter so 32 millimeter is stopping at this particular point then at that point at which 32 millimeter is stopping I'm going to be drawing a straight thin line like this in this manner to this particular place okay so now we have been given a radius here right right here of 15 millimeter right so i'm going to pick my my ruler and measure 15 millimeter 15 millimeter downwards like this in this manner 15 millimeter then i'm going to measure 15 millimeter also to this particular point like this in this manner okay so now using my set square i'm going to draw a straight line please ensure it is a very very thin line please I'm going to draw a straight line like this in this manner then placing it at this other point of 15 millimeter that we drew that we picked downward I'm going to draw a straight thin line also like this so at that point of intersection I'm going to place my compass here like this then extend it to any of the boxes length I'm going to extend it to this particular length here then draw my arc like this in this manner so that is this particular arc here of radius of 15 millimeter so let's take in out this particular place first like this okay now we are not yet done there is actually a line here to which we are going to be taking into consideration which is from this particular place so i'm going to pick my my set square then draw a straight line like this in this manner so now we're taking out the parts that ought to be taken out starting from yeah so we're taking out this place also and taking out this place also so now also going to be taken into consideration this particular box here this particular box here we can actually see that it is touching down it is going to reach down we cannot actually see it actually so we are going to be representing it with what with dotted lines which represent hidden details at this particular point here on the front view so we are going to represent it with dotted lines like this there is this place is actually having a line that is going downward because it is touching the ground all these parts are touching the ground like this so we are going to represent this part with dotted lines so now we move straight to the plan of this particular drawing in order to draw the plan of this particular block we are going to project all lines from the front view downwards like this in this manner so i'll start from this particular line here i'm going to project it downwards like this making use of thin lines please ensure you are making use of thin lines then i move straight to this place project downward then this edge also i'm going to project it downward in this manner let's actually draw our center line a little bit downward also like this okay so now we have been given the length of this place to be 55 and 25 this is the plan we are viewing from the top so this is 55 plus 25 which is actually 80 millimeter so i'm going to pick 80 millimeter right on my ruler this is 80 millimeter length and i'm going to pick it here like this okay so now at this point of 80 millimeter i'm going to draw a straight line like this okay the line we drew are not even actually touching this point so we still have to draw project downward a little bit okay so let's start from this particular place here as we can see from the top right there is a length of 28 millimeter here so i'm going to pick 28 millimeter from this particular place here 28 millimeter on my ruler this is 28 millimeter at this point i'm going to mark this point then with length 28 millimeter i'm going to draw a straight line why we are actually picking the point from the down is because i am projecting towards the left hand side my side view is going to be at the left hand side and not at the right hand side as usual as my other videos are so this is towards the left hand side so that as i'm picking it from the bottom part like this okay so now we have been given this particular place length 
which is going to be represented with hidden details to be 8 millimeter so i'm going to pick 8 millimeter right on my compass at this particular point 8 millimeter okay then i'm going to draw what short dashes that's hidden details line so it is going to be stopping at this particular point here projecting from the top view as we can see it is going to be stopping at this particular point okay so now we have been given another place this place total length to be what to be 40 millimeter 40 millimeter this land we are also going to be representing it on the on the plan on the plan okay so 40 minus 28 which is this actual place this place to this place is 28 why this total length is what is 40 so i'm going to pick 12 12 millimeter from this particular place i'll pick 12 millimeter upwards like this this is 12 millimeter starting from this point of 28 i'll pick another 12 millimeter then i'm going to draw what my straight line like this in this manner okay so that is that for this particular place here so we are going to represent these circles here also with straight lines okay we are going to represent them with straight lines so i'm just going to join the circle is joining from this particular length here so i'm going to draw this place like this then this part part also like this okay we have done that already like this okay so now let's move straight to this particular place here this particular place the height of from here to here is 55 millimeter so i'm going to pick 55 millimeter right on my ruler 55 millimeter at this point here then draw a straight line like this the straight line the straight line is actually stopping here as you can see from the front view projecting to this point it is going to stop here 55 millimeter okay then we have been given another height of what of 25 25 millimeter so we are okay the remaining height is actually even 25 millimeter so we are now going to ticking out this is actually all the points for the plan so we are going to ticking out the right parts like this now So now we are going to move straight to the side view of this particular block right here or i move straight to the side view please if you are new to my channel please do well to hit the subscribe button support my growth by hitting the subscribe button and also hitting the like button thanks for doing that already so now we are going to play take our 45 degree set square and draw a straight line from this particular center point here this center here i'm going to draw a straight 45 degree line from this particular point like this okay then project all lines from the side and uh, from the plan which we have been given i'm going to project from this particular point here starting from this point i'm going to project line straight to this 45 degree line then i'll move straight to this particular point i'm going to project please ensure you are using thin lines then i'll move straight to this point project a line then at this point also i'm going to project a straight line then this point also project a straight line now we are going to be projecting those lines from this particular point upward we are actually drawing the left side view of this particular block the left side view so i'm going to place my 45 degree um my set square here any degree angle set square since it's a straight line we are drawing then i will draw my straight line then place it at this down point draw my straight line place it at this particular point also like this then draw a straight vertical line like this then at this point also i'm going to draw a straight vertical line then this point which is here the last point here i'm going to draw a straight vertical line also like this okay so now we are going to get started with drawing our side view the side view is actually the place we are viewing when we are standing at this point we are standing at this point so what we can see at this point here is actually our side view so let's first of all start with this particular place don't let us go here first let's take it step by step so starting from this particular place i can actually see that this is actually having an height of 32 millimeter which we have also been given from the front view the height of 32 millimeter this particular place where the curb is stopping then this place so i'm just going to be projecting right from the front view that is stress-free stress-free 
I'm going to project right from the front view. Then I'll project my straight line like this. Oh. We are also seeing this place. We are also seeing this place. We are starting with this place first. And this particular place here, this height here is the, this place actually. So I'm going to place my my T square at that point. Then tracing this line here, I'm going to what? I'm going to draw a straight thin line, please. Ensure it is a thin line, please, because we are not going to be thickening out all of those points. Okay. So now let's thicken out parts of the points in order for you not to be confused like what are we doing what are we not doing okay so i'm going to start with this particular place like this then i'll taking out this point also like this then this particular height here of 32 i'm going to take it out also 32 millimeter height then this place i'm going to take it now taking it out to this 55 millimeter length here which is drawn from this particular place 55 millimeter if you can remember from the plan i said this place is 55 millimeter so i'm going to be stopping right at this particular place here so i'll take in this part out to this place then taking out upward like this then like this okay i just taking it out in order not for you to be confused why we are drawing this other part because this part seems to have a lot of lines okay so now we can actually see a curve here which we are not going to be seeing right from the side view right so we are going to be drawing this radius here curve here with short dashes instead of us to be picking radius of 12 millimeter we are just going to project right from the front view this particular place here i'm just going to project a thin line here like this okay to this radius here then using making use of short dashes because you can actually see the points then we are going to be stopping right at this particular place we are not going to be getting to this place because the curve only stopped here so making use of this place this is where the curve is going to be stopping this particular place here that is this length here is where the curve is going to be stopping so i'm going the short dashes is going to be stopping right here okay so this is that for this particular place okay so now we are also giving a curve here also like this which we are going to represent with what with short dashes also because we can actually also see this place so we are going to be representing here with short dashes like this okay okay now let's move to this particular place here we are done with this particular down here and this place so let's move to this place so first of all what we are going to do is to project this top line here which is from the front view i'm going to project it using making use of what make use of thin lines please i'm going to project the line towards the left side elevation of this particular drawing okay now we have been given the length of eight millimeter this time around we don't even really need to pick anything like length or anything because all points are going to be picked right from the plan projected plan and the front view okay so now i'm going to project this particular line here also to the side view of this particular block making use of thin lines please ensure you are making use of thin lines okay Okay, so now we are going to be representing this particular place here this particular place with straight line and this particular place is this straight line stopping at this point here this particular point here so with this line projected i'm going to draw a straight line like this at this point then i'll draw another straight line right at this edge also of the drawing okay now you can see that this place is having an entrance and coming outside so this is the point here is already projected already so you just draw like this in this manner like this okay it's because i've projected the point already that's why i'm thickening it out so now there is a slant here which is from this particular line here length here to the top so i'm going to draw my slant line like this in this manner then join the both of them together at the top like this okay so this is the side view of this particular block that we have been given this is the side view please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share with your friends that might be needing this video so it will be helpful for them thanks for watching peace i'll see you in the next video